we do have lots of kind of like river networks, so it makes sense to come over here and learn how to catch kind of like these ulang or shrimp. And just like with any type of fishing, it's a game of patience. I'm gonna try my hand at it. I'm usually very bad at this, and I'm very unlucky when it comes to catching things. This is my country, my damn country. Give me my country, you can keep the rest. It's probably not looking like the best day to go fishing. It's been extremely foggy. Apparently the storm or the rain is chasing us. But hopefully we still get to go out on the boats. I'm really excited. I've never caught ulang. It's something that's very rare to see in the markets. So I'm really excited for today. So we're here in Kalumpit, Bulacan, meeting up with Danilo, who's been generous enough to kind of take us on his two boats. 6.30 a.m. now, the weather cleared up, so I'm actually pretty excited. In Kalumpit, the waters were a little dirty, which is why Danilo and his friends drive up to Pampanga in their boats about an hour and a half away. I'm 18 years old. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Hindi siya natuto ako natuto. Alam, mga isang linggo bago ako natuto. Pati sa Plardel, gumagawi kami. Pulilan. Eh, dito talaga pinakamakapal, ang Panga River. Kasi yung ulang ay eh, madaling event. Ang nauna, mahal. Di ba? Mga isang kilo, mga dalawang kilo ka lang. Sulit ka na. Talagang bawi ka. Eh, tsempo-tsempo, minsan mga kapat na kilo, limang kilo. May dating na ganun na pag umumang ka, makapal. Limang kilo, mahuli mo, isang gabi. Pagkala ba isang kilo? 600 nga eh. Hmm. Pag may okasyon, na 800 pa yan. Uh, piesta o kaya, ano, papasko sa palengke ng kalumpit ng dadala. Marami kami ng dadala. Pagka po araw ng linggo, parang piesta rito. Misan, limang bangka, anim na bangka. May ibang lugar. May Maynila, may Plaridel, may Giginto, Malolos. Ay, masarap talaga yung ulang. Sarap pa sa sugpo. Iba yung lasa niya. Hmm. Nakakailang kanin ka pag ganun. Ay, masusulong ka. <laughs> I've been seeing that camping has become like people seek out and that a lot of people are doing overlanding and stuff like that. So for me, naturally, things like fishing and hunting uh, will come back into the conversation as they go hand in hand with camping. And I think it's such a great experience. But we do have lots of kind of like river networks. So it makes sense to come over here and learn how to catch kind of like these ulang or shrimp. And just like with any type of fishing, it's a game of patience. Well, this guy's unfortunately gone and we're gonna cook it in a bit, uh, but they're huge. They're very, and this is why I was kind of like really interested to come here, because if you just look at it, it's crazy. Like massive claws, that bright blue color, um, that's really, really unique when it comes to this kind of seafood. This is a big one. You'll see some smaller ones, but all of them are good to eat. I don't know what I'm doing. Three years na akong nag-uulang. Ang nagturo kasi sa akin ay tropa lang din eh. Yung pinakaulang master namin. Kabisado niya kasi itong Pampanga River kung saan ang pondo ng ulang kung masaan. Yun. That was fast. Pagka yung giant na yung ulang na ano, hindi mo siya pwede i-retrieve ng madulin kasi mabigat ang laban niya. Medyo smooth lang din ang, ang retrieve mo sa reel. Pero pagka ramdam mo namang maliit lang, pwede mo siya i-retrieve ng todo para mabilis ang angat. Masaya naman. Kung baka sa isang linggo ka magtatrabaho, pampaalis pagod, tanggal stress, ganyan. Nakaka-relax. Uh. Oh, okay, so I just go up. 
more pa? More pa, more pa? More, 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 more? Okay. These guys have a good fight in them. <laughs> when I, I didn't realize this guy would be this strong. Oh, oh, broke. Oh man, I could have looked like a hero for once in my life. <laughs> okay, now we wait again. Hopefully, hopefully it bites back. That was a big one. I didn't expect it to be that strong, honestly. Like I was, I don't know if you could tell, but uh, I was shocked because I was kind of like struggling with it. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Yeah! yeah. Guys, size doesn't matter, okay? Size doesn't matter. Work with what you have. God gave you a gift, use it well. I love that I got the smallest one. Ah, so it's there, look. Yay! You become bigger, I'll catch you soon. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> After getting my first one out of the way, we started catching lots, moving from spot to spot from time to time once the bites stopped coming. So while the boys are still going to catch a few more, uh, we actually have a lot already to work with. So we're going to go ahead and set up our little outdoor boat kitchen. When you're catching something, it's obviously the best thing to do is to eat it right away. What is more perfect than a day fishing, eating and drinking with you found friends and people behind the camera? All right, let's do this. Now if you look at the catch that we have here, it's starting to look pretty serious. Uh, we have some big boys in there, still alive. I'm still not exactly 100% sure what I'll be making, but I kind of have an idea already. Something I'm gonna do kind of like uh, since I was recently in Thailand, they do a dish there where they do like a tamarind glaze with shrimp. So when you're cooking outdoors like this, you're not going for perfection, you're going for highlighting the flavors in your food and highlighting the flavors of your drink of choice, obviously. So I have some palm sugar here. That already by itself has tons of flavor. And then to that, we're gonna add some tamarind paste. Mix that with some of our garlic, seasoned with a bit of fish sauce and our lemongrass. And just blend that together. Time to cook our ulang. And then this is gonna be mixed with our tamarind glaze. As it cooks down, kind of like those sugars from the palm, will caramelize nicely and that's gonna be so beautiful. So this, these are basically steaming and cooking with the sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them just to give them a nice char. When you're making dishes with seafood or river food as it is, lemon dew is absolutely perfect for it because it uses whole crushed lemons. So you get a lot of that refreshing flavors from citrus, but you also get a nice undertone of bitterness in there. And then there's three different variants, honey lemon and signature lemon if you want something on the sweeter and lighter side, and devil lemon, my personal favorite, if you want something nice and stronger and a little bit more bitter. And that acidity just pairs perfectly with kind of like grilled food. So when you're thinking about summer, you're thinking about cooking out in the barbecue, kind of like those charred flavors. So that's why it pairs perfectly together. And honestly, when you're out here, like it's hard to kind of elevate an experience like this in nature because the true luxury is being outdoors and having the time to kind of spend with your friends and family outdoors during summer. But one way to elevate that is with the food that you cook and the drinks that you have. Look at that, gorgeous. Dish one, done. It's gonna be more inspired kind of like by Zamboanga in general. Everyone there knows about alivar sauce, which is kind of like peanut flavors, crab fat, and coconut milk. We're gonna serve it with some puto, smear it with this quote unquote makeshift alivar sauce. Now, since we are in Pampanga, we crossed over. There's a lot of crab fat providers here. We haven't shot one yet, because we kind of have to wait for the right season to shoot it. 
It's a really interesting process and they do it really well in Pampanga. Cook that down for a little bit. That's gonna have lots of natural oils in it. Now, if you have peanut butter, you could go ahead and add some peanut butter at this point. A bit of our signature lemon goes in there. A bit for me too. Ah. Yummy. Coconut milk. At this point, I'm gonna transfer it. So the reason I did it on a shallow pan first is I just wanted it to cook down faster since we have limited fire. This sauce is looking absolutely amazing. Mm hmm that's gonna be good. So barely splitting this one, just enough to expose the meat inside. So like I said in the beginning, serve this slightly differently. You get some really good quality puto, or you can make it yourself if you want. Put our puto on the side. Finish everything with the sauce. Okay, let's try this. So first we're gonna try the tamarind. Mmm. The sourness of the tamarind really works here. You just get a hint of the lemongrass also. Tasty. Wash that down. It just gives you like a, kind of like a premium quality flavor when everything comes together. When people talk about kind of like premium flavors, for me, it's, it's really just making sure that the food you're making really pairs with the drink that, that you're serving. And that's where, for me, lemon dew works really well here. Okay, let's try the crab fat one with the sauce. Mmm. And the puto. Mmm. No. Yeah. That's so good. You get all the flavor from the coconut, the char, the crab fat, and then all that just comes together beautifully with the refreshing kind of like citrus flavors you get from the drink as well. Yum. Kaya na tayo? Tara. Alak bire. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, uh, tell me, tell yeah. me what you think. Tell me if you like it. <laughs> Rain is picking up. Um, everyone's having a good time just eating. That was a really cool kind of experience on how to learn how to fish for ulang and then cook it. I didn't do too amazing, but I didn't do too bad either, but hopefully I made up for it in the cooking. I really recommend for people to just get out and try new experiences, and this is something that I find is very special in the Philippines, is going out in nature and going out with people who do this every day, because maybe they might not find it very special, but for someone like me that doesn't come here often, I do find it extremely special. So hope everyone has a really good summer, and come by. Thank you.